Parker. First time I finally got with Wu, nobody really even knew what they looked like with the exception of, you know, that music video that I think they made for $10 for, for Method Man. But the problem was the business of Wu-Tang. They missed a photo shoot. The only photos they had, I guess, you know, featured like them in masks. At the time, you know, this is pre-internet. If you missed a photo shoot, there was no way for a magazine to course correct. The magazine came out, but instead of these photos, everybody had a basic, not even like an illustration, but a caricature. Raekwon the chef, there was an illustration of Raekwon. Randy's got like a chef's hat. Old Dirty Bastard is pictured with a blow-up doll. I didn't like them, but the thing was, was I, I completely understood the position that they were put in. Without art, we would have to kill the story. I didn't think the illustrations um, reflected the seriousness of what I'd witnessed. Because musically, Wu-Tang was just off the charts. I thought, I thought it looked corny. Some stories turn out great, some stories don't turn out great. This was one I felt that was only okay. And, um, you know, you move on. The, actually, the, the You Got Illustration actually was kind of cool because he was like this, and there was like a halo on him. I mean, that one was all right. I mean, I, you know, give me that one. It came out, nothing happened. I didn't hear anything from the group. First person that's, that I see, Master Killer walks up. I didn't know him at the time. And he says, yo, is you Chio? And I said, yeah. Bam, I get hit in the face. He's right, right cross, right to my left eye. That's just to let you know, Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. We come real with our shit. We ain't no fucking cartoon characters. Everybody's like, like, you know, it's just like, it's not funny, but everyone's like, yo, they're like, they're like, yo, that's kind of fucked up, like whatever. I'm trying to explain to them that I didn't draw anything. You have to understand, these guys fought each other like every day. This was no big deal. Honestly, now the shit's funny. Although, you know, I've heard that Master Killer, when asked about it, says that it didn't happen. When he hit me in the face, Master Killer also took my tape recorder. And so he ends up, he ends up writing me this check, you know, that I haven't cast, um, how many, wait, this was May 12th, 1994, for um, repayment of radio and tape. I've always saved the check because I knew right then it was hip hop history, and you know, it happened, you know. <laughs>